Earth, the planet, the atmosphere, nothing. And you know what pisses me off? I was thinking about this today. All these tech companies here in California, right? They're all pro to promoting themselves and green this and environmentally friendly that. Uh, let's take some, uh, something like Apple, right? Now, I bet you can go on the Apple website. There's all kinds of propaganda about how how uh, climate-friendly and green Apple is, right? Ooh. Except how many millions of phones do they build in China? And the reason they move to China, not only is the labor, is the slave labor they use, but they also are not bound by any emissions law. Which is why most of the com American companies went over to China and they're following the, the, the power plant and say, here, and, and, and doing like this and walk around patting themselves on the back. Oh, they've got so many strictest environmental laws for the for industrial production in the whole world. It doesn't matter. It's all the same atmosphere. All you did is you sent all the production over to China, where there are no laws, nobody cares, and it's the same amount of real pollution and global warming pollution going into the air. It's the same amount. You haven't saved anything. You just shifted it. I, it, it, it's shocking, but then they hold these self-strict congratulatory conferences and conventions and they're in Paris and they're in Scotland and they, 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 you know, they, 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 they're just constantly battling about this. Because no effect. The temperature well, keeps going up anyway. The emissions are... The yeah, U.S. has actually reduced its em emissions just through innovation over the last uh, so many years. China is exploding. It's gone sky high. Uh, Newsom took another hit to the groin on this topic when one of the more powerful politicians in Sacramento, the Assembly Speaker, Anthony Rendon, in a phone call with reporters from the UN Conference in Scotland, said, I don't feel at all that California is leading the world anymore in climate change policy. And of course, this sounds like Newsom. California is taking action that's unprecedented in both nature and scale. He likes the word scale. Uh, no, uh, uh, this Anthony Rendon, he's a Democrat from Lakewood, said uh, Paris is ahead of us. Uh, the German state of Baden-Württemberg is ahead of where we are. Even some governments in India have to have more aggressive goals than we have. He sounded like kind of disappointed and depressed. Uh, he depicted California as a state that is pursuing outdated solutions to the climate comfort, to the climate cr crisis. This is not a matter of ego. This is a matter of these folks having aggressive goals that are consistent with where we know the climate crisis is. When we developed our goals a couple of years ago, they were adequate, but things are much worse now than we thought. So this is the guy that wants it. And, and you know what they really want to do in this state? So let's be clear about this. They want to crack down on your driving. That's the thing that's making them. They, they, yeah. they want to get you out of your car. They, they, the cars and the trucks, they want to end that somehow. That's why the gas is five bucks a gallon. That's why they talk about the mileage tax. They talk about all of these other ideas to get you out of your car. I mean, the first idea that was really dopey was road diets, and that was the death. Yeah, but it, it really, that did uh, disappear, didn't it? Yeah, that went over the way. I, we take personal credit for that. It died yeah. when we got Mike Bonin to back off the road diet and fly at El Red. That yeah. killed it in LA. It didn't pull well. Right? No. No, oh wow. Well, I think we really accomplished something, didn't we? I had totally forgotten. Nobody has, has said the phrase road diet in about four years. All right, come on back. It's a really nice sunny afternoon. You have any idea where we're going, John? I think you know. Oh, good. We're going to take a bench seat in Bidenville back. Oh, it always smells nice there. What about this long, well, <laughs> loud, lucky walk? Uh, Mark has been. <laughs> from West L.A. has agreed to plead, to plead guilty to a federal drug charge in connection with the overdose death of rapper Mac Miller in 2018. The Justice Department says Ryan Revis is accused of giving Miller fake oxycodone pills that were laced with fentanyl. Another drug dealer is also expected to plead guilty to charges related to Miller's death. A teenager who ran away from home in 1980 has been identified as the murder girl whose body was found on the shoulder of a freeway in Texas. She was 14. Her family says they lived in deep bewilderment every day, not knowing what happened to her and thank those who worked to solve the cold case. The Orange County Board of Supervisors is in the process of choosing new boundary lines from more than a dozen redistricting maps. The OC Civic Engagement Table, Jonathan Pace, says 
a new map to help communities of color elect people to represent their interests. And ensuring that communities that were underrepresented or hard to reach in regards to pandemic response would ensure that they would be uplifted as well. Um, and as well as around issues around education and employment. Because communities of color make up 62% of the county's population, the final map to be chosen by supervisors next month could affect political power in the county for the next decade. The federal deficit dropped in October as the government collected more taxes from individuals and corporations. The Treasury Department says the federal government posted a deficit of $165 billion last month. That's 42% lower than the same month last year when the pandemic response raised the October deficit to $284 billion. <laughs> has received one of the highest awards that can be given by Queen Elizabeth. The singer now belongs to the Order of the Companions of Honor. The group has a maximum 65 members, including the Queen. John says he considers himself to be so lucky. We're going to go back to the crash on the 710 in Long Beach. Northbound at Willow Street, you are unlucky here. That crash in the center lanes, you're stopped from the Gerald Desmond Bridge. KFI in the sky, sponsored by injury attorney, superwoman, superlawyer.com. What's happening now in Baldwin Park? We get the very latest from Mike O'Brien. Mike, gave it a big match for the 605. 605, just a little past the 10, a little before Ramona. An accident there with a big rig, and they're blocking the two right lanes. And good night, Irene. It is bumper to bumper now through the 60. And really, at that point, it will not be long. It's going to catch the normal swing that extends way back to the 105. So patience, not only a virtue, it's going to be a necessity here. South 605, that blows up just about Rose Hill. That'll be tough through the 5. Also, it looks like the East 60 out of East LA interchange. Yeah, up there from just the 510 split. Pretty much out to Montebello and the worst of that out to Paramount. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Dave Joseph. If you want to sell your house to Congo fast and easy, you call Seller's Advantage and they'll buy your home as is for cash. With senators, yeah, all right. Turn on his mic, all right? There's so much on the shelf. It's day three. You haven't learned yet whose commercials are who. With seller's advantage, there are no realtor fees or commissions, no escrow fees, no repairs needed, no open houses, no strangers walking through your home in a buyer house of condo for cash. Can't hire off crazy. David and Doug from Sellers and Ben bought a house from one of our KFI listeners. Guy wanted to sell. Met with some real estate agents, compared the numbers, and chose seller's advantage. So he ends up with the same money, same bottom line, no repairs, no headaches, no open houses, no hassles. He says working with Sellers Advantage is the easiest real estate transaction he has ever completed. If you're considering selling your home, you call Sellers Advantage and you'll see how much your house is worth. Call now for a free quote. Call 888-321-AS-IS. Call 888-321-AS-IS. That's 888-321-AS-IS. CRE number 0196-1658. SellersAdvantage.com. Southland weather is from KFI. Sunny, windy, and warmer tomorrow with highs in the mid-80s to around 90s for Metro LA. Mid-80s to low 90s in the valleys. Upper 80s for Inland OC, 85 to 90 in the IE. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Deborah Mark. If you thought you missed the lowest mortgage rates in history, you're in luck because they're back. Mortgage rates are near historic lows again. So if you have a mortgage, refinance it and forget it. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Network Capital Funding is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 1.75% with a 1.94 APR. Incredible! Network Capital has built a reputation for saving people time and money with our unique process that's fast, simple, and secure. Our 15-year fixed rate is 1.75% with a 1.94 APR. Now, second chances don't come often, and you may never see these rates again. So, refinance it and forget it. That's a 15-year fix at 1.75%. Yes, 1.75% with a 1.94 APR. Call the experts at Network Capital now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-501-HIT. As in home run, call now and say big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 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 Hi, we're Hope. Meet Dr. Robert Lewis. He's a neurosurgeon at Pickup Family Neurosciences Institute. He loves camping with his daughter. He is also a nationally recognized expert in minimally invasive brain tumor surgery at Hope. Dr. Lewis would love to get to know you and is ready to make a positive difference in your family's life. Get to know Hope. 
Visit coachhealth.org and find your physician today. Donate your car today with 1-877-CARS-FOR-KIDS. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a vacation voucher of three days and two nights. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. 1-877-CARS-FOR-KIDS. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Visit mechanicars.com before you purchase your new automobile this holiday season. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to KFIAM640.com slash rules. KFIAM640. I Heart Radio Station. 24-hour news. More stimulating talk. We'd like to formally welcome you to the West Home of Old Joe. Welcome to Bidenville, everyone. All men who are afraid of Bidenville. So you know the you know the thing. My mind's going blank now. Uh, um, what am I doing here? Whether or not there were there's a man on the moon or, or you know something or you know or whether those aliens are here or not. What, what I can't remember. Anyway, I ride every day. I I commuted every single day for 36 years as president, vice president of the United States. A lot of the folks in Amtrak became my family. Not a joke. Last night I was on television, on television, I was on the telephone. I'm not, I'm not supposed to take any questions, but go ahead. I want to thank uh, that fellow down under. Thank you very much, Pat. Appreciate this time. The Secretary of Health and Education, that I nominate Javier Bacaria. Fantastic, right? President Harris and I took uh, a virtual tour of the vaccination center in Arizona. I got the one point. But when you're in Bidenville, you are prohibited from letting out a long, loud one. Mm. But, right. uh, no wafting, no ripping. What do you take for that? A gas X, I think, is one of the products? You know, Bidenville is dedicated to the first president while he in office. And there was rumors that Reagan was going downhill. But mm. The full humility on display. Yeah. Being up right? Where? Is it Bino? Oh, or yeah, Bino. Or oh. Gas-X? <laughs> Gas-X, yeah. <laughs> well, you probably take Bino, right? I have so. taken Bino. I have not taken Bino uh, in years. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, so but I have taken it before. Do you even yeah. do that? Fart? Yeah. Everybody farts. Everybody oh, poops. Everybody so poops. Everybody, 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 everybody farts. Everybody farts. Everybody farts. Because it's just not delicate. Well, right. it isn't delicate, but you know, it's... Uh, Yours probably sounds like a fruit. Yes, it does. Yeah. And it smells like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, I was just going to say flour is so much more than I need Did you ever run from yourself? <laughs> no. No, I've done that many times. Yeah, let one rip at a store and you're like, you have to oh, sit in another aisle. Oh, yeah. okay, I thought maybe... Not me, not mine. I thought you were saying that it smells so bad you couldn't stand yourself. Uh, well, kind of, that's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's, that's why you run away. Yeah. You also don't want anybody to know that you farted. If, that, if you, you run, run, right. if you run, you're guilty. Yeah, that's the problem. Mm. Okay. <laughs> he runs. Uh -huh. We're in Bidenville because, man, the Consumer Price Index rose 6.2% just in October. Compared to a year ago, that's the biggest increase since 1990. That's, that's uh, just outrageous. When Things are Reagan. really screwed up, aren't they? When Reagan was still president. Reagan was still president. No, he wasn't. No, no. That was the first year of oh, George, 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 right. so George, George, George Bush, Bush the first. 88 is what he got. Let's talk, though. So. Close. It's close. Uh, I like the way the progressive liberal media tries to dance around this. Uh, there's much hope that it will recede, that it's oh, only oh. temporary. Yeah. But it is worrying. Don't you know the word they use? They oh. use this word for about eight months now. It's transitory. Okay. That transitory. is the official weasel word that they use, which Ooh. means it comes and it goes. And they said this after two months. Four months, six months, eight months later, it's still transitory. Well, I assume someday it's going to go. But in the last five years, the 10% a year, that's not transitory. It's not really hard to figure out 
why this is happening. I don't know what the solutions are. But you probably know by now the stock market's been doing well. Home values have gone up. A lot of people, I read this, borrowing is off the chart. People are borrowing against the equity in their home for all sorts of things, whether mm -hmm. it's home improvement projects or travel or just fun things to buy. And then you have the supply chain chaos. Yeah. which is making goods harder to get because they're all stocked up at the port. So all of these things come together, although when you look at where it's worse than it is, it is gas prices. Uh, apparently, motor fuel has gone up 50% mm. compared to a year ago, October. Uh, followed by car and truck rentals, uh, used cars and trucks, hotels and motels, and John's favorite, up 20% is beef and veal. Well, look at this. Steak is up 24%. Bacon and breakfast sausage up 15%. Pork chops up 16%. All the things Deborah Mark doesn't like, 12% for eggs. You don't need eggs either? Nope. Uh, fish, 11%. Chicken, 9%. It's mm -hmm. double digits for most things. The price of a washing machine up 15%. Furniture, 12%. Television, 10%. You want some good news? What? Smartphones down 21%. Okay. I guess that's because they're just trying to discount to get people yeah, to buy. Probably, yeah, they're flushing out all the old models. So they could sell their, their uh, iPhone 13. So uh, today, Joe was at the port of Baltimore. And of course, we had to make a statement about inflation. Here is part of it. And the irony is, people have more money now because of the first delayed and they made their peaceful legs like that. What? Like that. what? So <laughs> Wait a minute. Really? That was completely horrible. <laughs> <laughs> he was like the old guy on the bench trying to mumble. <laughs> hey, the thing is, we're kind of short over. He's reading this. <laughs> well, he started off very good there, and yeah. then he <laughs> started strong and just went right, right down, uh, down the bus. Right. Right. Start over. Let's see what we can do with this. And the irony is, people have more money now because of the first delay, and then they made your piece of legislation like that. On the one hand, we're facing new disruptions to our supply. At the same time, we're also experiencing higher demand for goods because wages are up, as well as, as well as people have money in the bank. And because of the strength of our economic recovery, American families have been able to buy more products. Hmm. And, but guess what? They're not going out to dinner and lunch and going to lo local bars because of COVID. Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they, they doing? They're staying home, they're ordering online, they're buying products. Mm. Well, with more people with money buying products and less product to buy, what happens? Mm. Suck at the port. The supply chain is the reason. The answer is you guys. I'll get to that in a minute. But what happens? Prices go up. Follow it. So we got nearly a 20% more goods coming into the country than we did before the pandemic struck. The 19 day, and excuse me, COVID-19 has changed the way we spend our time and our money. COVID-19. More products are being delivered than ever before. Uh, that's because people have a little more breathing room than they uh, did last year. And that's a good thing. But also means we got higher demand for goods at the same time we're facing disruption in the supplies to make those goods. Mm -hmm. There's a red, this is a recipe for delays and for higher prices. The people are feeling it. They're feeling it. So what are you going to do? They're going to paying this much for a gallon of gas. I think we knew all this. In some parts of California, they're paying $4.50 a gallon. More than that. That's why it's so important that we do everything in our power to stabilize the supply chain. Right. <laughs> <I> remember. <laughs> <laughs> so what's he going to do? Do you remember the wind button? With inflation now. Yeah, it was during Ford, right? Mm -hmm. Nixon and Ford were around. There was terrible inflation, and it lingered into the, even into the into the Reagan years. Look into Carter. Oh, Jimmy Carter hit double digits. Yeah, it was like 10, 11, 12 percent a year. Jimmy Carter. Had that. And the thing is, if you have five years of double digits, at the end of those five years, your money is worth half as much as it used. To. Yeah. So so much for a wage gain. They get right. away by well, inflation. They are. He brags about wage gains, but the wage gains are more than eaten up by the inflation rate right now. So people are losing money. Every day you wake up, you've lost some money. Right. Because the prices have gone up so high. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, shoveling trillions of dollars into the economy, uh, what do you think that's getting? Why do you think they're sitting home? He says they, you know, they, they have uh, more money in the bank. 
They're sitting home and buying more things because you gave them all this extra money that people didn't need. And so did California with all the stimulus checks we sent out. That's yeah, right, $600 a few times. I think everybody's saying, well, it's a good thing people have more money. It's not a good thing. First of all, it's fake money, printed money, borrowed money, whatever the hell it is. And then if, 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 if people don't really need it, then they just start buying stuff. And that drives up the price. All right, so we got more coming up. John and Ken, KFI, Deborah Marquez News. Hundreds of pages of transcripts have been released in New York of interviews with former Governor Cuomo during the state's sexual harassment investigation. Cuomo denied many of the allegations. He later resigned over those allegations. Portugal has made it illegal for a boss to test an employee during non-work hours. Employees are also going to be forced to pay the related costs of working from home, such as gas and electricity bills. U.S. Marine Corps is celebrating a birthday. The Marines have protected our country for 246 years. The Corps' motto, Semper Fi, is short for Semper Fidelis, which is Latin for always faithful. Travel on the 405, and we will check in with the KFI in the Sky Net. If you're a small business owner, you want to offer your employees the best health care without having to worry about your bottom line. Well, California Choice is your solution is different than traditional employee benefit programs. And best of all, it's affordable. Yeah, well, California Choice, they do this. They package eight top health plans like Kaiser Permanente and Anthem Blue Cross into one single program. You can control your costs and give your employees the freedom to choose the plan they want. You can customize your program however you'd like. You can add dental, vision, life, pyro, or acupuncture. And as a small business owner, you get valuable additional services at no cost like HR support, flexible spending accounts, and Cal Cobra billing. Well, if your small business needs affordable health insurance, join more than 18,000 small businesses taking a California different approach to employee health care. To learn how California Choice can customize a benefit plan for you, you dial pound 250 on your cell phone and say, My Cal Choice. That's pound 250, My Cal Choice, or go to MyCalChoice.com. <laughs> This is Doug Gottlieb. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by News Man Cohen. The Heat tonight while the Clippers host the Heat tomorrow night. Clippers are on a five-game winning streak. The Lakers are going for their second straight win. Rams visit the struggling Niners Monday night while the Chargers will host the Vikings Sunday. Vikings running back Dalvin Cook says he's innocent and the truth will come out. Cook briefly talked to reporters today about the domestic battery civil lawsuit filed by his ex-girlfriend. I'm Rich Johnson. All too often, the media are ignoring the everyday heroics of our policemen and women. Well, that changes on News Nation. Dan Abrams and his live TV sidekick, Fix, are back in prime time on Dan Abrams Live, weeknight at 5 p.m. Pacific on News Nation. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We have a crash on the 405 in Torrance. It's southbound before Crenshaw Boulevard. That crash blocks the center lane traffic is stop and go from El Segundo Boulevard. KFI in the sky, sponsored by injury attorney Superwoman Super Lawyer of the Superlawyer.com. We go back to Baldwin Park with Mike O'Brien. Mike, still that big mess here, Dave, on the 605. 605 northbound, just a little before Ramona. Still clearing for the two right lanes. It is now jammed into the normal stuff. It's basically, for all intents and purposes, you're going to be on the brakes from the 105. South 605, there's a problem going around Rose Hill, but frankly, that just adds to this point that starts just past the 60. That's from the 60 down through the 5. That's the cover stretch. 210 eastbound out of Pasadena. On the break there from downtown Pass. Most of the way to Citrus. A little pitch at the 57. And then once again, it's like from Upland, pretty much from baseline, on and on to Day Creek. Injured in an accident, this is Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the sky. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Dave Joseph. This report is sponsored by 1-800-NO-COPS Criminal Defense. I'm attorney Darren Cavanoke from 1-800-NO-COPS. Can you do the alphabet backwards? Z, Y, X, W, V, yeah. Try doing that by the side of the road. So if you get pulled over, don't wing it. Call us at 1-800-NO-COPS. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. If you've decided to sell your house, I know it is tempting to just get it listed as is or even take one of those cash-out deals. But why sell yourself short when making just the right upgrades will maximize its sale value? You mean like flipping our own home, Dean? We don't have the expertise or the cash for that. I know, but my friends at Revive do. Revive knows exactly what to change, what to spend, and where to spend it. They'll manage everything for you and front all the costs. Yes, Revive fronts the costs. 
They get paid back from escrow, but the profit gained is all yours. How much profit? The average client makes over 200% profit on what Revive invests on their behalf. It's a no-brainer. Reach out to iloverevive.com today and see if your home qualifies. To make the most from the sale of your home, go to iloverevive.com. That's iloverevive.com. You are the proud possessor of a secret weapon, maybe even several. Your major appliances, washers, dryers, dishwashers. When you use your appliances outside the peak hours of 4 to 9 p.m., you're choosing times when renewable energy is plentiful. Now that's using your powers for good. SCE Time of Use Rate, an easy way to make a change for the better. Visit SCE.com slash COU rates for more information. I had three cousins pass away from COVID-19. One of them, I was very close to. This guy taught me how to get on the line as a football player. What I think people risk not getting that, whether it's paying death, whether it's their own life or the people that are around. Take it from me, the vaccine saves lives. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. How are those Solar Max panels treating us? Loving them. I just wish I went with Solar Max sooner, all the money I would save. Solar Max has new Tesla 420 panels and power walls for $79.96 per month and zero down. Dial pound 250 from your cell and say the keyword Solar Max or go to solarmaxtech.com. Once they take it available on food price, the SLB number 9720. Hey, you don't have to wait for Veterans Day to thank a veteran. Thank a vet today. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morongo. Number five. How they get your wall stuck. Wall burgers, wall roosties, wall bites. All the wall things at Wall Burgers. Number four. Thanksgiving is here for giveaway. Get a handy coaster oven when you earn 500 points on your reward card. The 15th or 16th. Three. Yes, that is a 30-foot LED screen with all the games on it every Sunday at Sideline Bar. Next question, please. And the number two. Rod Lowe. Live December 4th. Tickets are selling fast. Get yours today. And the number one reason. Be full of dollars. You can win $500 cash playing table games with your reward card. Wednesdays and Thursdays, 3 p.m. to midnight. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Morongo. Good time. Him packaging himself as world's best dad just does not ring true. He doesn't know what it costs to children. This may have gone through a nanny or two before it got to the governor's secretary, before the governor then scheduled a quick Zoom call with his four children or something like that. Gary and Shannon, weekdays at 10 a.m. on KFI. Oh, uh, I've got big breaking news here. Oh, cool. It's big breaking news. All right. Uh, I got it from an excellent source. I got, I got, I got Mike Bonnet recall. Mike yes. Bonnet recall. They have 39,164 signatures. They need 27,313. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good safety margin. Yeah, yeah, how about that? They're way over what they need. So, right, and then what's the deadline for signature gathering? Um, coming up soon? It's got to be sometime, sometime this month. got to be very soon. Ray, you should get to go and recall people on and see if we yeah, can. Yeah, see if they're ready to talk or it's not like, yeah, 39. We built the desk. We're ready. 39,164. That weasel is going to get kicked. I know. The only weird thing about it is that he could get kicked anyway because he's up for re-election yeah, the recall will be next year, too. I don't know if it'll... <laughs> the recall might be, you know, a day before the regular election. I don't know. But I want him to suffer the humiliation of the recall. Oh, I agree. That, I that agree. That was his voice on the news. I think it was yesterday. Oh. He, he just, he's just... He's just such an awful... He is a pop fool. Yeah, yeah he's, not just, he's not just full of bad policy. And he's just a bad person, you know? This is, this is what he's... Just, oh, by the, by the way, um, um, I, I witnessed a... Uh, uh, how do I describe this to uh, be uh, sensitive about this? But there was there was a mass killing today. Mass killing. Uh, they came to kill the gophers at the park. No, oh. I'm going to say not people. You know what they uh, you know what they did? They they pumped carbon monoxide into the gopher hole. No. That's yes, so they did. Mean. Yes. This I, is, uh, I saw the guy doing it. This you, is what? Remember Bill Murray in the Groundhog Day? 
No, no, no. The, what, what's the movie called with the kids? That, uh, the golf movie. With Patty Shack. Uh, Patty Shack, right? Yeah. That's what, remember the Gophers? Oh, the Gophers, yeah. Yes. Yes. He never did that. Did well, he? the company came and started pumping, um, the, oh. not, not my house. Uh, like you're in the a garage car. with the car on. Yeah, yeah, and you could actually see little puffs yeah. of carbon monoxide coming out of the gopher How did you know it was carbon monoxide? Oh, the guy said so. He was, <laughs> he was there. Have you seen any dead gophers? No, they're all underground. They're all but in the burrow. None of them tried to struggle out to get air out of the No, no, no. They're, uh, we're not going to hear from them. Oh, they, that's that, gopher side. Yeah, it is. It was the uh, mass gopher side today. I just deal with the gophers at my house. I, I don't well, want to. Why do they have to kill the gophers? Exactly. What are they doing? I, I think it's a liability for the city because there's a lot of big holes. But you can trap can... them. Why don't you trap them and uh, I don't get, them. I them. Them. I don't get up in the morning to trap gophers at the park, <laughs> right? That's not mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's a <laughs> terrible story. Sorry, sorry, but it's our tax money at work there. Yeah. They're busy. Uh, okay, well, I don't want my tax money doing that. Uh, suffocating gophers. It's in Bonin's district. That's what Bonin does. Bonin suffocates gophers. Another reason to recall. Right. I'll go with it. You too, Deacon? <laughs> yep. Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, this quick report, which I think is actually very important. They may spend more time on it another day. But they have a new term, functionally unemployed. Hmm. Listen to this. California officially has one and a half million unemployed residents. But a study that takes into account people who can't find jobs to pay above poverty puts this at four, almost 5 million people are functionally unemployed. That just means it's called the working poor. You've heard that term? These are people that actually find some kind of work, but they still can't pay all the bills. They need uh, assistance, free food, stuff they, like that. They're not qualified to have a job that pays money. That's what it is. There's plenty of open jobs that pay. It's yeah. not like the only ones left is menial labor. It's these people can't do anything except menial labor. Right, so they end up with jobs that barely pay right. at the minimum wage level, and they're, they're part-time, a lot of these workers, but then you'll get the cost of living. I mean, they, they profile the guy who's living in his RV in San Mateo, Luis Felipe Luis Gonzalez. He gets paid $21 an hour at a paint company, but he only works seven hours a day, Tuesday to Friday. And half the money he makes goes to rent. Well, what are you supposed to do, though? He, he, he shouldn't be in California. That is yeah, the bottom line. If he went to Nevada or uh, fact, uh, New Mexico, he could he could uh, twenty one bucks to go a lot farther. Maybe we'll get her on the air. We got an email from a woman to the John Ken show with kind of the same description that they're living out of their car. And I felt like writing back and saying you probably shouldn't be here anymore. It's just I'm sad to say. It's never gonna change here. I mean we're gonna blow it's, not, it's only gonna get worse. We're gonna I think. blow more money on welfare programs, but it, it, it's not getting you into a house. All right, coming up next, speaking of recall, it's not Bonin. We wish it was uh, George Gascon, the L.A. County D.A., but it's the D.A. of San Francisco. They are going to have a recall election for that idiot. We'll talk about it next. John and Ken Show, Deborah Marquez News, KFI AM 640. You'll figure it out eventually. We can help. KFI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Iron Radio app. Children getting dabbed. I'm Deborah Mark, live from the KFI 24 hour news where many parents in California have chosen to get their kids vaccinated against COVID 19. Secretary of the State Health Department Dr. Mark Dowley says more than 110,000 5 to 11 year olds have received their first shot. That is tremendous uh, effort. Uh, that is uh, uh, just the beginning with over uh, nearly 1.6 million shots here in California available to young people. Officials say more than 3,000 school sites are helping distribute the vaccine. Kids in California began getting vaccinated a week ago, like trolling KFI News. Governor Newsom says he did not have a bad reaction to getting a COVID-19 booster shot and flu shot within days of each other. This is made up, and I hope folks uh, pause and reflect uh, on these sources and, and consider uh, the Michigan, what's going on. The governor says he had more soreness in his arms from the flu shot than the booster. Newsom has faced questions about his nearly two-week public absence. He says he was going to the state capitol and working the whole time. Newsom made his comments during a visit to a COVID vaccination clinic at the VA in West L.A. A family is suing the South Coast Global Medical Center in Santa Ana for elder, ab elder abuse, negligence, and wrongful death because they say they found maggots in their mom's mouth and nose. The woman's daughter tells KPLA it was shocking. 
the place was disgusting. The room was dirty and it had like you know, a little pile of trash. The mom died in August of last year of COVID-19. South Coast Global Medical Center says it will not comment while the lawsuit is pending. The Orange County Board of Supervisors is choosing for more than a dozen redistricting maps, which could affect political power in the county for the next decade. Supervisor Lisa Bartlett says the final redistricting map to be chosen by the middle of next month must conform to the Voting Rights Act. Where you have to have 50% or more of certain communities of interest within a district. OC Civic Engagement Table Executive Director John Contake says the map his group submitted reflects that communities of color now make up 62% of the county's population. We maximize the opportunity for similar neighborhoods to be able to work together, um, to be able to elect a candidate of choice. He says that could be more education, health care, and employment resources for historically underrepresented communities. In Orange County, Corbin Carson, KFI News. The teenage room, what Wisconsin charged with shooting three men at a protest killing two of them has testified at his murder trial, Kyle Rittenhouse started crying as he told the jury the shootings last year were self-defense as he was being attacked. The lead prosecutor later pressed Rittenhouse on whether the men were really a threat. Rittenhouse says he pointed his gun at the first man out of fear of being killed. Mr. Roosevelt was chasing me. I pointed my gun at him and that did not deter him. He could have ran away instead of trying to take my gun from me. But he kept chasing me. It didn't stop him. Rittenhouse says the second man shot had hit him twice with a skateboard and the third guy pointed a gun at him. New York's Attorney General has released hundreds of pages of transcripts of interviews with former Governor Cuomo about alleged sexual harassment. Aaron Katursky says the governor was questioned in July by independent investigators hired by A.G. Letitia James. Cuomo told investigators he had come to believe accusations from a number of women were the work of political opponents who had been part of orchestrating and resonating with complaints against him. He denied groping his aide, Brittany Camisso, as she has publicly alleged. Cuomo told investigators that she was the initiator of intimate contact and that she was very affectionate. We're going to go back to that class on the 710 in Long Beach. Problems now northbound at Willow Street. This crash still blocks the center lanes. You're stopped from the Gerald Desmond Bridge. KFI in the sky. Sponsored by injury attorney Superwoman Superlawyer.com. We've got a big problem in Baldwin Park, don't we, Michael Bryan? We sure do, Dave. It's been here a while, too. It's 605 northbound a little before Ramona. And it's just going to get to the far two right lane. Very, very tough. It's got the normal going all the way back to the wild five. Top that side of the 605, hit the brakes there right off the 60. From the 60 through the 5, that's a very typical slow stretch. And I'm headed to a whole bunch of campus fire. We put it down on Eaglewood. Looks like it's affecting the freeway too. The 10, or I should say the 105 westbound Hawthorne Boulevard off ramp block for that combo fire. Most of the way to the 605. This area is not a good track. I think they'll have all the rest. Introduce an accident at the Superwoman Superboyer.com. I go by and KFI in the sky. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Dave Wilson. This hour of KFI is brought to you by Sunlux, your best value in shoulder for all your energy needs. Sunlux.com. Can you believe the holidays are almost here? When you think about that, what's the first thing that comes to mind? For me, it's the smiling faces of friends and family as we celebrate together. I'm Larry Green with Happy Home. America's number one designer and installer of elegant outdoor living systems. Today, I'd like to have a smile to you and your loved ones' faces, too. For a limited time, the Tim Cavers is sharing our exclusive friends and family prices. So if you go to mm. say big on an outdoor makeover that will make every get-together more memorable than ever. From a new patio of fire pits upgrading your driveway and kitchen, take advantage of the low prices during our Hoop for the Holidays Spring and Family Savings event. Get started right now by calling 800 P004. That's 800 P004.